with Sheath. Hopefully my card works. I really got sidetracked. I don't know where I was going. What do weekend crowds look like here at Tokyo Disney Sea during the low season? I'm gonna show you today. Hey Explorers, today I'm at Tokyo Disney Sea and it is January, end of January. It is a Sunday and it is considered the low season. So it's winter time. Not a lot of people are off of work and everything. So this is usually when it is the slowest at the park. And I had a ticket that I needed to use before the end of the month. So I thought, why don't I come to Tokyo Disney Sea on the weekend and see how the crowds are today. And also go on some rides, try out some of the new food. Cause I haven't been here yet in 2023 and check out some of the merchandise. So it's gonna be a chill day and we're just gonna check everything out. It was quite cold the last few days here. This was actually frozen up there like the other day. It was, I think it felt like 10 degrees Celsius with the wind and everything. And it does get pretty cold. It's not very often that you see the entrance here not decorated. Because usually there's, you know, some sort of event going on. There's a Duffy merch event going on, but they don't have decorations at the front here. I think they have some in Cape Cod. This view never gets old. All right, we have a few things to do really quickly here. We're gonna check the wait times really quickly here. So I have the Tokyo Disney Resort app. You can download it. And they do have it in English. Mine just happens to be in Japanese. So Toy Story is at 115. Tower of Terror is at 90. Over here is Soaring, 190 minutes. Ooh. Soaring's the other way, buddy. No? All right. <laughs> and uh, Journey to the, to the Center of the Earth is 80 minutes. Our boy Sinbad, Chandu, five minutes as always. Raging Spirits is 50. Oh, is Indiana, oh, Indiana Jones is closed, isn't it? Oh no, yeah it is, it's closed. I think it's under refurbishment. And then we have Finding Nemo, the Nemo Sea Rider, 20 minutes. Aquatopa, 25, so it's not terrible. These are still pretty high, but this is on a weekend. So it can get worse, <laughs> this is the low season. Okay, we're going to do... I want to see what there is for Standby Pass. On the English version of that, this, this stuff will be in English. So, Standby Pass, Entry Request, and the Disney Premier Access. Disney Premier Access is the paid Fast Pass option. Let's see what it is on right now. It's going to ask me to link my tickets. My ticket's already linked. And if you have uh, tickets, like physical tickets, you have to print off. When you go through that screen, you scan it. Like the, the camera will pop up and you just scan all the QR codes. Okay, so we have Tower of Terror, Toy Story, Journey to the Center of the Earth. No, yeah, Center of the Earth and uh, Soaring. So we got the prices here too. 1500, 2000, 1500, 2000. I will not be doing these today. Um, well, I don't know, maybe, we'll see. I wanna see, is there any standby pass for today on attractions or greetings? Okay, no standby pass for any greetings today, but about shops, anything for shops. So standby pass, they kind of turn it on and off kind of when they feel like it, depending on the crowds. Yeah, nothing for shops, so that's good. So some shops will have it, some won't. Some quick service restaurants will also have it as well. Nope, nothing, okay. Well, that kind of makes the day easier. We are gonna do entry requests though, because I want to do it for Believe Sea of Dreams. So we're gonna be doing that here. Selecting my ticket. Okay, so the yeah, entry request is basically the lottery to watch shows. Believe Sea of Dreams, Big Band Beat, and uh, Jamboree, Jamboree Mickey. So we're gonna be doing Believe Sea of Dreams. So I haven't done this. I haven't, I haven't won the entry request yet. Cause there's also the Disney Premier Access for this, which I'm not gonna be doing. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna win. Am I going to win? Uh, it's asking if I have children under three, which I do not. Don't worry, this whole process is in English. I just forgot to change my uh, my app into English. So, okay, am I going to win? Am I going to win? Am I going to win? Nope, of course. <sighs> Let's see if there's any premier access left for the show. Looks like my ticket again. Oh, there is. Oh wait, what? oh area one. So there's different areas. So viewing area one over here on the right 
and on the left is viewing area two. So viewing area two is sold out. Viewing area one is not sold out. <sighs> I don't particularly want to do that, to be quite honest. I don't know. We need to... Do I want to ride something? Not right now. I've, I'm kind of peckish. Also, I want to look at some merchandise, so let's go do that. It's not too bad in terms of uh, the crowds, it feels. Very light. During this time of year, it's usually pretty quiet, except for weekends. Weekends are just always busy in general. That's just how it is. I have a video talking about when to visit, like when is it busiest, when is it hottest, when I think you should visit. I have a video, I'll put it up on the screen for you, you can go watch it. I go through every single month in detail and give you all that information, so you can go check that out. I'm gonna pop into McDuck's here and check out some of the new Duffy merchandise. I know that just came out. Circle of Friendship. Yeah, this is the new Duffy merchandise for the merch slash food event that's happening right now. They usually do a Duffy event in the winter. This stuff is always adorable. It's like a big old stationery set, yeah. 6,400 yen. What is this? A uh, decoration plate. 3,400 yen. <laughs> Oh. oh, is this like a, what is this? I don't know what this is for. 5,200 yen. Shelly Maid's always adorable. A little statue. Oh, it's for like a room thing. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> oh, 4,500 yen. Oh, I see, you could put like, it's a little flower pot. That's fun. I want a little wreath. <laughs> 4,700 yen. Costumes. We've got Gelatoni's little costume here. These are 5,400 yen each. Shelly Mae. I'm getting like Anna Green Gables vibes from these. we got Duffy. Look at this little teapot. Short and stout. <laughs> this is hard to grab. It's a little. The box is a little wide. Sixty-two hundred yen. That's lovely design. And we have a towel. Oh, lunch mat. Eighteen hundred yen for the lunch mat. With Shelly May. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, that's adorable. Uh, we have some towels. Little hand towels. How much is this? Thousand yen. And then we have, oh, three little towels. <laughs> Duffy, Chalamet, and Gelatoni, I'm guessing. Yeah. How much is this? 2,600 yen. Nice. And we have Circle of Friendship here. 4,300 yen, little tote bag. Oh, is this a blanket? Oh, yeah, it's a blanket. A blanket with a case. 5,200 yen for that. Ooh, a postcard set. You know how much I love a postcard set. 700 yen. Those are very pretty. I'm always a fan of these designs. Oh, some memos. 1,200 yen for the memos. Oh, and a bag. Good little shoulder bag. How much is this? 3,400 yen. <laughs> a little coin purse or pouch, whatever you want to call it. I don't know, it's a bag. 2,800 yen. Oh, and here's the blanket down here. Oh, it's fleece. It's oh, so soft. Oh, I haven't seen this yet. Little by little closet. Oh, I wonder when this came out. All these little accessories for Shelly Mae and Duffy. 950 yen. Okay. 1600 yen. Okay, and there's like little accessories and bags. Why did I not know about these? It's 1900 yen. 1300 yen. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, so you kind of, it's all piecemeal. Okay. 1900 yen, you kind of 
That's kind of expensive, actually, if you buy everything individually. But I guess you can mix mix and match everything. So that's Shelly Mae, and here's Duffy. 1600 yen for the pants. Yeah, on the shirt. Little vest. Ooh. Got two for one here. 1600 yen. Put you back up there. <laughs> I adore that hoodie, 1900 yen for the hoodie. And this little shirt, this little button up shirt of his, 1600, and little, little shoes. 1900 yen for the shoes. This little shoulder bag, 1900 yen. Ooh, he has little socks, 1300 yen. Uh, all the little bow tie. 9.50. Oh, little hat. She has a new hat. Oh, and glasses. Uh, okay, now I kind of remember seeing this before because I remember freaking out over the glasses. Uh, those are ugh, so cute. Lena Bell's the newest Duffy friend. I have a full video going through all this different merchandise I did a few months back. So make sure you go and check that out too. Oh, we have the cute little plush keychains. 2100 yen. Lena Bell and Cookie Ann. We got Duffy. Shelly Mae. So soft. <laughs> Gelatoni. Stella Lou. And Olu Mel. And we have slightly bigger ones, a couple of them. So we have Gelatoni. I almost said Stella Lou. <laughs> Gelatoni. 2400 yen. And we have Shelly Mae. She's always so soft. I love her soft fur. And then Duffy. Duffy's over here. Oh. <laughs> so if you can bear the cold, uh, you know, for me it's not that cold, you know, come from Canada and everything. Coming during like January, February is a good time because this is the low season. So hotels will be a little bit cheaper because, you know, they depend on crowd levels and stuff like that. But of course, just like my golden rules, always avoid the weekends, even during the low season, because it is, you know, relatively busy for this time of year. This is like nothing compared to what it could be during, you know, peak seasons uh, during, in the summer and uh, during New Year's, actually. So... Yeah, it's, I think the weather is comfortable. Although it has been a little cold lately, like I mentioned at the top of the video. It's been a lot colder lately. It tried to snow, but it really didn't. Uh, it just turned to rain, at least in this part of where, I, where we are. It did snow a little bit in Tokyo, but we're just outside of Tokyo. The snow really doesn't stick around either. Like when it snows, it'll usually melt pretty quickly. So if you're planning for snow, uh, it's really hard to pinpoint, honestly. It's all, it's all about timing and luck. You just have to be at the right place at the right time for that kind of stuff. It is quarter to 11, I want some lunch. So we're gonna head to the New York Deli here. There is a line to get in, so I'm not sure how long we're gonna wait to get in. It looks like it's probably gonna be about a 20 minute line. So I'm gonna get the special set here. Baked mac and cheese sandwich with sausage. Looks really cute. So 1,470 yen, which is like $11 or something. The Reuben's also very good. They changed the Mile High Deli Stack. I don't like it anymore. No, thank you. This is this is a good one to get. And for the sandwich, you can also get it by itself if you want to get it cheaper. 990 yen. Otherwise, it comes with french fries and a drink. Yeah, the Mile High Deli Stack, they added shrimp on it. And also strawberry banana custard. Like, no. Before, it was just roast beef and a couple other things. Like, it was not this weird mixture of, like, savory and sweet. Yeah, no thank you. <laughs> that, that doesn't make me happy. <laughs> I decided to sit outside because it is way too hot inside, and it's not too bad right now. I think it's, like, 8 degrees, 8 degrees Celsius outside. So I got my little green man, little green mon, as they're called, green alien dumplings fries and my apple tea soda, my beloved apple tea soda. 
Yum, yum, yum. I Seriously, the best drink ever. Get it. Apple tea soda. And we have the mini Mouse sandwich here. Here's the mini, the mini sandwich. So the cheese gratin. Macaroni and cheese gratin on there. And the sausage on there. It, it's like a... Like it slices. This actually smells really, really good. This is part of Minnie Mouse's best... Minnie's Besties Bash, which is a event that's happening at both Disneyland and Disney Sea right now. <laughs> it's nice and cheesy. Very savory. There's potatoes in there, like little bits of potato. Some carrot. And the cheese is nice and the macaroni. I am a fan. Mixed in with the sausage. That is that is really good. I wasn't I wasn't sure what to expect. And the bun is nice and uh, fluffy and soft. Mmm. I think this is what is this cheese? That's mozzarella cheese ball. Okay, this is this is really good. You cannot go wrong with apple tea soda. Seriously. So both Disneyland and Disney Sea are selling this new case. They can put your green alien mochi in. So it is adorable. Adorable. So you can buy this in addition to the green alien mochi. And the top actually twists off. Opens up. And this this little guy here is actually soft. Like it's squishy. <laughs> And you just put the little green alien mochi in here, and you can carry it around. So no more putting these in Ziploc bags if you want to keep them. Because you know what? I'm going to walk around and munch on these all day. Yeah, I'm going to have one of these. I'm going to have one of the green alien mochi. So the flavors are custard, chocolate, and strawberry. This one I think is, I don't know, strawberry? Custard? Strawberry. We're grabbing a spot for the mini show. So during Minnie's Besties Bash, there's a little greeting show here. So we're actually, I'm standing up top here, this railing, and the harbor is right back there. <laughs> I like coming here like last minute for some shows. You get a really good vantage point. Like you're not that close, but I mean, you can see everything. And you can see Mount Prometheus behind me up there. Well, behind, there we go, right there. <laughs> I don't know the words. <laughs> it's a cute little harbor show. I wish they did a little bit more for it. Um, I mean, our entertainment's not like fully, fully back yet. I hope it, maybe next year. I don't know. But we do have the, the Belief Sea of Dreams show, which is fantastic. It is absolutely wonderful. It's such a great show. Anyway, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna ride something. So I'm looking at the wait times really quick on the app. Journey is 70 minutes, soaring is 130. We're not doing that today. Uh, might actually do Sinbad, it's only five minutes. I would have done Indiana Jones, but that's not happening. Tower Tower is 75, which is not terrible. Toy Story is 95 minutes. And just remember, keep in mind this is like this is a Sunday. It's a it's a weekend, so things are a little bit higher. Other stuff is hovering between 20, 15, 25, 30 minutes. So not terrible. You know what? I'm gonna do Sinbad. Let's do Sinbad. Of all my years visiting Tokyo Disney Sea, this view just never gets old. Absolutely fantastic. Just look at the detail. Marvelous. There's a long line here for the turkey leg. It looks like it's probably a good 30 minute line. The turkey leg is not that good. I'll show you something that's better than the turkey leg after I ride Sinbad. As I was walking through Mysterious Island here, I noticed there's a long line for a Volcania restaurant. 
And you can actually check wait times for a lot of restaurants for counter service in the app. So if you tap on the fork and knife, it'll show wait times on the map. So Volcania is actually at a 30 to 45 minute wait. So that is also really helpful to know. They give estimated wait times for the counter service restaurants. You can see the construction of Fantasy Springs over there. So that's the hotel over there. And uh, it's a little hard to see, but you can see the mountain from, I think that from this vantage point, I think that's the Peter Pan attraction. So the Fantasy Springs expansion at Disney Sea is delayed until 2024. It was supposed to, originally they had it opening sometime in 2023, but that's not happening anymore. Officially it's opening sometime in 2024. There is no actual date yet, but probably sometime after April in the spring, that's probably what's gonna happen. But I'll, I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, I keep getting distracted. <laughs> we need to go to Sinbad. I promise we will get to Sinbad. <laughs> There's a closer look at the hotel. You can see it there. So that's where the entrance is going to be, right where that fence is. That's where the entrance to Fantasy Springs is going to be. The shape of Disney Sea is very strange. It's going to take a long time to get from the front of Disney Sea all the way up to Fantasy Springs. As promised, made it to Sinbad Storybook Voyage. This ride almost never has a high wait time. Five minutes is usually what it's at. If it's a super, super busy day, you'll see 15 minutes. Trust me, you do not want to skip this ride. Sinbad is always spectacular. Such a wonderful, charming ride. That's probably the longest I waited for it. I, I legitimately waited about five minutes for it. <laughs> Usually it's a walk on, but because it is the weekend, it was a five minute wait. <laughs> All right, I'm going to show you the snack that I talked about earlier that I think is much better, vastly superior to the turkey leg. So come with me as I show you. Right beside Raging Spirits is the Lost River Cookhouse and it has the smoked spicy chicken smoked, no, <laughs> spicy smoked chicken leg, which is vastly superior to the turkey leg. We'll have it later because I'm still full from lunch. It's so good. Since you have to rely on your phone a lot, you may need to charge your phone. So if you don't have a mobile battery, which I recommend you do buy one, you can rent them here. They have them throughout Disneyland and Disney Sea. So you scan the QR code and an app thing will pop up and you can pay for it. One pops out, you use it, and then you can put it back and voila. It's, it's also in English, so it's pretty straightforward to use. Oh, and there's Rafiki. <laughs> I, lo I just love running into the characters. <laughs> And we have Timon right across the way too. <laughs> so we still take pictures from a distance here. You can take a selfie. Yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> oh, I love Timon. Nemo and Friends Sea Rider has a 20 minute wait, so I think we're gonna pop in line for that. We're not allowed to take any pictures or videos inside, so I'm just gonna ride it and enjoy it and I'll report back. Finding Nemo, the Sea Rider attraction, always adorable. I do miss Storm Rider, which was the attraction before that. Those of you that did Storm Rider before, you know why. <laughs> it was, that was a very good attraction, but Finding Nemo's good too. It's cute and I like how they I think it's still like this. I, I don't do it as much as I would like to, but I'm pretty sure the the video, like the movie that it shows inside, is um, like random. So there's like different endings and stuff that you can get. I can never remember which ones I've got before. I think I've, I've probably I've probably had them all at some point. As for the crowds, yeah, I mentioned it before. It is weekend crowds during the low season, so it's a little bit higher in terms of the crowd levels, as you saw the 
attractions. The main attractions had, you know, 80, 90 minute waits up to two and a half, three hours. Um, that's not terrible. It's still high, but it's not terrible. Um, but you know, it kind of gives you an idea of what it's like during the, the low season right now. I'm not going to be doing any of the major rides today. I don't really particularly, particularly feel like waiting in the long lines. I really don't feel like doing that today. I am going to stay for Believe Sea of Dreams though later tonight. And also, I want to buy that the frozen green alien mochi. I want to buy that. I'm excited. Oh, speaking of green alien mochi, I need to have the one that I bought earlier. <laughs> I'm doing this all one-handed. Which one are we getting this time? It's chocolate. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I decided I am going to do the Disney Premier Access for Believe Sea of Dreams because I haven't done it yet and I want to see how it all works and everything. So Disney Premier Access, I'm on the app here. Shows, and then continue. Wait for it to load. I'm going to have to pick my ticket. And remember, you can hit the scan code and that's when you scan the QR code on your printed ticket if you have one. And so there's two seating areas. There is seating area two, viewing area two, and viewing area one. Viewing area two is already sold out, and that's on Lido Isle, which would be the more prime area, I guess. That's where people want to see it. So I'm going to be doing it for area one. It's 2,500 yen per person. So we can start lining up at four o'clock if we want to, which I am not going to be doing that. We have all the agreements. So 2,500 yen. Okay. And it shows where the entrance is. Okay. Hopefully my card works. My credit card, and it looks like it worked. Yep. Perfect. So now I have I believe Sea of Dreams viewing area. Perfect. There's actually a Lena Bell, I think it's Lena Bell, cookie that I want to try here at Cape Cod Cook-Off. So we're going to stop in here, get myself a cookie. I got the Lena Bell cookie. This came out uh, a little while ago. Look at the packaging. Adorable packaging. And this is a cheese cream cookie with Lena Bell on it. It was like, what, 400 some yen? 400 some yen? Something like that. It was like a savory cheesecake inside. Then there's some berry sauce. It just tastes like berries. I don't know, this is good. <laughs> Another thing that I wanted to mention was, um, well, Look how squishy this is. I know, I already mentioned that. But so I got Coke Zero, right? So in Japan, Coke or Diet Coke is not a thing. You can't find Diet Coke in Japan. It's Coke Zero. That's really the only diet drink that there is. So for the resort here, there is Coke Zero at some of the restaurants, not all of them. And a lot of them will have Coke. So there's also like sweet, unsweetened tea, like iced tea and stuff. So just keep that in mind. It's only Coke Zero, no Diet Coke for, you know, diet, diet drinks. I really got sidetracked. I don't know where I was going. <laughs> but I have some time before the Believe Sea of Dreams show tonight at 7.30. And when I buy my green alien mochi, my frozen ones. Looking forward to that. On oh, there's Shelly Mae. She's doing some greetings here in front of the Tower of Terror of all places. I mean, she's usually in front of the Tower of Terror anyway, so. Oh, she's adorable. You can only meet Duffy and Shelly Mae at Tokyo Disney, so you can't meet the other characters. For Minnie's Besties Bash, they have these decorations here. 
in front of the Tower of Terror. I think that's kind of funny, actually. The banners are cute. I like Minnie in her different outfits there. Mini Besties Bash. We love to love Minnie. Her outfits are always really cute. <laughs> you know what I want to do? I want to get on the Disney Sea Electric Railway. Let's do that. I love this poster here. So it goes from, where are we? America, New York. <laughs> American Waterfront, that's what it's called. We're in the American Waterfront. I forgot what it was called for a second. And it takes us all the way back to Port Discovery. This is such a wonderful way to see Tokyo Disney Sea from a different vantage point. And it's also really good to do on busy days. It's only a five minute wait. It's actually quicker than walking. Here we go. <laughs> All the way here. This is such a great way to see Disney Sea. Also, if you're tired and just want to sit and relax. I like facing this way so I can see inside the park. <laughs> Face the other way, you can see the SS Columbia. Beautiful. It's so relaxing. See the Tower of Terror back there. The artwork here at this station, Port Discovery, is gorgeous as well. I just, uh, the detail in this park always gets me. Always. I completely forgot that we have Avatar Way of Water statues here. <laughs> I haven't seen Avatar. I haven't seen it yet. I uh, Just sitting for that many hours at a movie theater. I don't know. Have you guys seen it? Let me know. What'd you think? Should, should I go see it? Anyway, this is, that's actually pretty cool. I won't be doing it today because I want I want to get myself the spicy chicken. But they have avatar food too. So there's a vanilla mousse custard with peach and almonds and this drink. Uh, cacao nibs, soda, blue syrup. It looks fun. I don't know how long they're keeping this for. But I kind of completely forgot about it. Well, I'll have to come back another day and do it. Let's get that spicy chicken leg. <laughs> look at it. Look at it. Look, look, look. Oh, you can see the spice on it and everything, and it's smoking. It's just... This is much better than the turkey leg. Like, go for this. They only have this at Disney Sea, though. It is delicious. The only problem is it's uh, a little messy. Mmm. It is so juicy and just perfection. They've had this forever and it's like one of my go-tos. And it does have like a small kick to it. They put some chili powder on it. All over my beard. <laughs> That was really good. That really hit the spot. So one thing I wanted to talk about really quickly is the low season. 
you know, like I mentioned before, the thing you need to keep in mind is refurbishments. So right now we have Indiana Jones here is closed. I'm not sure when it's closed until, but the Tokyo Disney Resort website publishes that information like six months ahead of time, something like that. So just double check that just to make sure if you need to maybe adjust some of your stuff, like some of your, your, your schedule stuff. <laughs> if you have to adjust your schedule accordingly, then uh, you can do that. Let's take a look at the wait times. So it is five o'clock. So Toy Story Mania is 95 minutes. Tower of Terror is 110. Turtle Talk with Crush is 30. 75 minutes, that is the Duffy meet and greet. And that is the Transit Steamliner. Five minutes, so that's not bad at all. Apotopia, 30 minutes. Finding Nemo, 20. These are greetings up there. Mickey and Minnie, I believe. 15, 60 minutes. 45 minutes for Raging Spirits. Five minutes for Sinbad. And then 10 minutes for Flying Carpets. 35 minutes for the Lamp Theater. Uh, this is all the Mermaid Lagoon place, like, rides. Ooh, 20,000 Leagues is only 15. Journey to the Center of the Earth is 55. Soaring is 130. All right. Remember when I mentioned before there's still, like, sort of... Like, things are not fully operational at the parks here. Like, we still have the plastic barriers and a lot of the restaurants inside. But also, shortened hours for everything. So the park's only open till 9, right? 9 to 9. Before, it used to be open 8 to 10, but now it's only 9 to 9. And a lot of restaurants close early. It's like SS Columbia closes at 7.30. Well, I guess that makes sense. Half an hour before. Or no. Hour and a half before park close. But like Teddy Roosevelt Lounge closes at 5.30, I saw. And there's a lot of other like little places that have closed early. So I don't know if that's a staffing issue or or what. I'm not sure. It's so like just a lot of like restaurants and stuff close early. Oh, well. Right, we still have a few more hours before I believe Sea of Dreams, so I'm gonna, I have my premiere access for that. And I can get in line or go get a spot. I can go get one now if I wanted to. There's people that are actually already got spots because you can start sitting at four o'clock with your premiere premiere access. But I'm not gonna go until like seven ish probably. I don't feel like sitting in the cold. <laughs> All right, well let's find something else to do while we wait. There's Mount Prometheus. And Mount Fuji. So you can see a real volcano and a fake volcano. Right at Disney Sea. The sun is starting to go down. So it's cold, right? It's like, ooh, it's gone down. I think it's closer to like two or three degrees. Oh no. That's six degrees. So a little bit warmer, but the sun is going down. So I buy these. They're called Kaido. And they're hand warmers and warmers that you can buy at Daiso. They do some in the park here, but I would just get them at Daiso because they're cheaper. Like these little hand warmers are just that. Take them out and it's gonna warm up. So I put these I put these in my pockets, put my hands in, and then I have this one that peels off and I put on my lower back on my shirt. And then these I put on my socks and my shoes. And let me tell you, it makes all the difference. Especially when I'm, I'm going to be sitting waiting for Believe. This, you better believe, <laughs> this is this is going to make everything a little more comfortable. So I highly, highly recommend these in the winter. Got my seat here for Believe Sea of Dreams. I am sitting down right in front of... Prometheus, right there. So this is like dead center for the show. You know what? I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with this. So uh, it's it starts in about 15 minutes. I was a little bit late. I wanted to get here probably a good hour before because people were lined up like well before then. But I was in line for the little green mon. <laughs> I bought the frozen ones from Mama Biscottis and um, 
It took a little bit, a little bit longer than I thought it would, but I did buy them. They're frozen, so I'll have to do it later. Here they are. So there's three packs of three and it's 2,000 yen. There's a custard, strawberry, and exclusive flavor of chocolate crunch. So I'm looking forward to trying these. Also, I'm looking forward to Believe Sea of Dreams. This gives you an idea where I'm sat right now. We're paying for the Disney Premier Access. So we can sit along here and then also along over there and also along over there as well. Not bad, not bad. Believe Sea of Dreams is wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Uh, that was my first time paying for the, the paid access spot and actually my, my view is actually pretty good. Would I do that for every single time? No, if you're doing a once a lifetime trip, it's probably worth doing, then you don't have to camp out and get a, get a really good spot. You can just kind of show up. I showed up 20 minutes before and my spot was pretty decent. Now, again, it's not, not super, super busy today, so you know, take that with a grain of salt. But as for like the you know, free seating areas, there's tons of places all around the harbor. And like actually along, like all along here, the Miracosa, there are spots there that are clearly marked that you can sit in. I saw people there. So you can get those spots. You know, it's not part of the, the paid area, which is like right over here where I was. It just really depends on your budget and if you're willing to wait and all that stuff. I'm good doing it once. Maybe I'll do it again if I'm with like friends or something and we don't want to wait. But if I'm by myself, I'll probably, you know, get a spot in one of the non-paid areas. But the show itself is ugh, so good. I am so happy with that show. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So I bought the, I bought the little green Green Mon, right? The green dump, green alien dumplings, the frozen one. So it's 2,000 yen for three packs of three. And there's a special, not special, yeah, special. A unique flavor that's only in this pack. So the custard, strawberry, and chocolate crunch. Um, they don't feel that frozen, so I can maybe try one of them. Let me open this really quick. Okay, open it up here. They're still a little frozen, but you can see them here. They're exactly the same. That you buy. I'm gonna try the chocolate crunch one. Mmm, that's probably my new favorite, the chocolate crunch one. I love that they're doing this. Uh, you can buy them, take them home. They're only doing it until April 9th for the frozen ones to take home. They still have the regular ones in the park, so don't worry. They have it at Mama Biscotti's here at Disney Sea, and also Sweetheart Cafe. What a wonderful end to the day. Oh. We have our ebook coming for Tokyo Disney Resort. Should be out hopefully end of February into March. I have a free chapter for you. You can check the link in the description and you can get to preview a free chapter. So make sure you go and check it out. I'm really excited to be releasing this. It's been three years since we updated it. So I'm really, really excited. And we also have one coming out for Universal as well. 